What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you another review on My Hero Academia. This episode was honestly one of the better episodes throughout the season. We get to see a lot of interesting things in this one. But before I continue guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It greatly helps out the channel. A lot of you guys are watching the videos, but you guys aren't subscribing. So make sure to be subscribed so you know when I upload. And that way you guys can enjoy it your at your own leisure <laughs> but let's continue so the episode starts off with an interesting conversation from the jail where we actually have all for one actually being nosy and actually even saying i hear my little brother's voice so we're obviously seeing that there is a connection between all for one and one for all uh, and it just seems like this is something we're going to be seeing hopefully later on in the season. I'm ready for this man to be kind of like back in action. Like I want him to be doing some stuff. The villains aren't doing anything right now. And I know that it's really just a matter of time before they start doing things again. But overall, I'm just really excited to see when things get evil again. But moving on, we actually see what's going on with Monoma who honestly seems to have a lot more personality and even has a conversation with Shinso about I guess you could say the dreams and whatnot and how it's weighing them down. Monoma actually has a lot more to him than what we had originally thought. This guy isn't all about laughter. This guy has some deep thoughts and really I want to say that because of him we had Deku react the way that he did. Uh, of course, Deku still being responsible for what happens, we actually see that, like, there was a reaction, uh, cause and effect, if you'll say, if, if, to be compared to, I guess. But one of the things I also liked about this was the fact that, yes, Deku knew that he had to be, like, the distraction, and that hopefully they were all going to focus their attention on him, knowing that the others wouldn't possibly like they're more like a support than there would have been fighters but they actually had to get dragged into the fight and that's one of the things that i liked you know we were a three on three we get to see class b's abilities you know we had a poltergeist a size manipulator and a gadget dude so i thought that was kind of a cool you know i guess you could say matchup with uraraka pinky and of course mineta so seeing these you know, kind of matchups was actually kind of cool. Obviously, Class A was at a disadvantage. They were shocked to know that, like, well, they were shocked that having the location found. And honestly, Shinso played a good role in this as well, using his voice manipulation to make it seem like it was Uraraka. So that was really cool. But Monoma singling out Deku here, which was a smart idea, but at the same time, it was not because we actually have. Deku losing his control which was ironic also because we actually have a little scene here with All Might and Gran Torino before while this match was going on and we have Gran Torino revealing to him to All Might that there was a conversation that was once had with his master previously and saying that the time was not right and it was not yet to come and so we actually see these words kind of haunting All Might kind of throughout the episode. And we then see how Monoma kind of like trying to get a reaction out of Deku kind of incites Deku to kind of lose control, which was something that wasn't expected. We see that he has like these lines, these things that are just kind of like coming out. And of course, it doesn't seem like it's, you know, out of his own will. It was honestly just a reaction. His mind was working a lot faster. He was thinking. And throughout this, we actually get to see an unexpected person. Because we actually go like to the, to the world again. Where Deku goes and sees the previous uh, users of the ability. And we see this one who wasn't named. He actually says, what you're using is my ability. And what it is, is that with the powers of all for one they continue to grow with every person they go to. So now, with you having this ability and using my ability, you're, it's a lot stronger. It's much more powerful than it was originally. 
and you, we get to see this kind of like little cool moment where he actually even says like look we're here with you you're not alone in this and you just kind of have to you know know that and so i thought it was really cool i thought it was a cool moment you know kind of giving him that little pep talk and i'm glad that we are able to now starting to see clearly the previous holders so that was actually kind of cool the only one that wasn't there there was all oh Mike, he's still alive. I'm guessing when he passes away, things will be different. Uraka actually, you know, kind of also tries to help out Deku, uh, as well as Shinso, using his burning washing abilities. It kind of snaps him back into it, which allowed him to be in the state. So that was cool. And then the fighting resumes. They were going to stop it. At least All Might wanted Vlad and, and Aizawa to stop it. But the fight continued, and it was very fast-paced. And so Aizawa even says, let's let it finish, let's see what happens, because I think he's even curious as to the outcome of this battle, because it is the last. But a very good episode overall, I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think, I'd love to know your thoughts. As always though, stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and I'll catch you later.